Hey everybody. Hey Lisa Dixon, I see you here first. Wedding dresses can be painted as I have now painted five or six of them. I'm starting a new one, fall inspired colors. So this is DIY, it's a clay based paint. I'm using my caddy brush and the dress is more ivory. So I'm gonna work this cherry picked color into the satin and I'm going to attach my fall inspired colors. How are you guys? I'm so glad you're here. It's Friday night, 8.30 central time. Matt's here. Hello. We may not be on too long tonight, but I wanted to get this base on so it can set overnight and I can get back at it tomorrow. How's everybody's week? I hope you're winding down. Matt, let me know if there's any questions. There are no comments and there are no questions. Okay, well let me know when and if there are, and hopefully this dress doesn't come falling down on my head. Because I don't have that on a hook. Mm, you should have put it on a hook. There are no hooks up there. Do you have an answer for me? Nope. You should ask for a hook sign to put you a hook. Well, I didn't know I was going to be on until 10 minutes ago. What? Didn't know I was going to make it. Well, we have Cheryl. We have our on here this evening. Cheryl Atkinson. Hi, Cheryl. Hey, friend. So I'm starting a new wedding dress. Fall inspired and hello, patience. Hey, patience, Smith. I now I've had a busy day. How about you? No, nah. not too bad. Uh, just just kind of sitting around. Yeah, that's what I do today. Dude, Matt got a new mower today. I did. What he got a rock? new weed eater, a new mower. He used his birthday money and his birthday cards. Hello, Amy Ellis. Hi, Amy. Rob, Gloria, and a Delaney, crazy lady, Delaney. Delaney. There's a dresser in my um, garage just sitting there. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, is that cherry picked on it? It is cherry picked. It is. It looks a lot darker on the screen than it does in person, but it's just really great Bordeaux color. Um, I thought Bordeaux was a place. Bordeaux is a gorgeous color, and I just released my journals today at 5 o'clock. So if you were wanting one of my hand-painted leather journals, um, I just released them at 5 o'clock, and they're about halfway sold out. But we have some that are Bordeaux-colored, Woodsy. No, Cheryl, it was not a riding mower. Dion said, no, go, that I need to no. lose some weight and just keep walking. That's oh, yeah, that's that sounds like me. That that's what she said. So much like me, not. Um, I don't think we really need a riding lawn mower, do you? I look at the top of this, guys. It has a halter, and then it has the rhinestone band. It's ivory color. So this is the first one I've done that's more ivory, but it's going to be ball-inspired, okay? Kimberly would like to know, what is what are you painting it with? I just found you recently and love seeing all your creative projects. It's a clay-based paint, so it's really porous. It's all natural. If there's not acrylic in it, it's, this paint is what I use on my furniture, my canvas, and now I'm loving it on wedding dresses. Uh, you can do it on any clothes. I, I, a lot of our community uses it on denim, jackets, denim, jeans. Um, but I am loving it on my dresses and it, there's nothing stiff about this fabric. I've watered it down and it's just, um, well, it's, how many of this, how many dresses have I done now, Matt? Five? Is this your fifth one? Uh, I think it is my fifth wedding dress. I did a couple of cotton dresses and I've done um, a flower girl dress, but I think as far as wedding, and then I did the black evening gown, uh, which was amazing. Um, uh, we're going to add some flowers to this one, too, and gold. We're doing a fall-inspired one. Well, Delaney says, um, she'll ask her friend to meet you somewhere, if you don't mind, her coming to your house, which, or... You mind her coming to your house? I don't mind her coming to the house, girl. I would rather she come to the she'd house. She'd be really jelly because she hasn't ever been here. <laughs> well, it would be great if she wanted to pick it up. She doesn't have to come get it, but if she wants the dresser um, that she, that you won at the workshop, she's welcome to come to our house. 
just send me a message. And if I miss a message from you, I apologize. So right now this is called cherry picked. This is a beautiful color. It's not quite red. It's not quite purple. It's a really, really deep aubergine Bordeaux color, color of red wine. And this is going to be quite a process, but I thought if I got this started tonight, it could sit overnight and I could continue the process tomorrow. It's kind of the cover, color of Winston, honey. Have you noticed? A little bit. It's our 1954 Chevy pickup truck color. Mm -hmm. And it's divine. It looks better on the dress than it does on Winston. I'm just saying. He looks... Hilda Rodriguez Fornado says, how do y'all? Hi, sweetheart. So, guys, I tried to convince Matt earlier today that I could paint Winston with DIY paint and seal it with Big Top. I mean, I don't know. Why not? And then Michelle came over from Tulsa. She brought me a couple pieces of furniture, her and Mitch, and she said you could paint flowers on it and then just paint over it. Or you could, you know, you could do all these things. And got my mind really turned into possibilities. We could have a paint party and do Winston, and everybody takes a section. Who's it, everybody? You know. No, that's what I asked. You know, the ladies on here. Oh, you want the ladies to come to our house? Yeah, have a paint party, paint Winston. <laughs> Does that sound like a terrible idea? Hey, everybody, I'm so glad you're here. I'm working on a dress tonight. Nothing too fancy. The top is a halter. It's a wedding dress. It's an A-line. I have my model ready to go, Miss Julia. Hello, Pam Dudley. I think what we're going to end up doing, unless someone falls in love with one of these dresses, I'm going to sell tickets to a fashion show. We're going to have collectively people wearing all the dresses, do a fashion show, film it, record it, um, auction the dresses off, and then take the proceeds and donate them probably to, I thought maybe a women's shelter, but I've been thinking about it a little bit more, and I think we're going to go with cancer. Maybe children's cancer for um, donating and uh, auctioning off the dresses. Rob says it's all about the ladies. I mean, you can come and paint on it too, buddy. I don't know if guys would want to do that. That's what I mean. See? Guys would be like, you can't paint on I mean, a truck. I mean, if they do, fine. I just, when I see an old truck, I don't really see it with hands. I mean, I see it, I see that like on a, like an old Volkswagen bus. I don't see it on a, like an old truck. Well, Debbie painted hers old 57. Yeah, but she didn't paint flowers on it, did she? And Aga painted her Porsche flowers. She painted flowers on her Porsche. So you just don't know the right people. Did she paint flowers on it? Is that what you said? Matthew, did, did I she, asked you a question. Did she paint flowers on it? No. Well, she put flowers in the truck bed, well, and well, it, doesn't, it doesn't run. That's a little different. Uh, Weather Hearts Design says hello. Patty here, do you seal the paint with something? No. I don't seal the paint with something, but I put Scotch Guard on it. I put Scotch Guard on it to protect the fabric. Are, so are you just going to do it that color and that's it? You're done? No, no, no. Are you going to do like a, like a. You know how I did the blue one? No. Yes, you do. Remember? You're going to put flowers the, on this The one? blue one that's in the Turquoise Iris magazine. Hmm. I'm going to put flowers. Yes, Rob, I agree with this. Uh, he, he's not the Turquoise for me. What? Thank you, thank you, Rob. Yana and I just had this conversation, and she's like, I don't think so. And I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the truck's mine. Matthew. It's named a dude. Who was dreaming about an old Turquoise... 50, 50, she, 50 Chevy truck ever since you've known her. Who? Who? You, Roxy was just a bonus are, are you item. the only one that ever thinks about a 1950s truck? I have it on my mug. On I have mug. my clothes. 
on clothes. I've told the boys when they get big and famous playing baseball that I, when they were little bitty boys, I'm like, mama needs a turquoise truck. <laughs> <laughs> I've been telling them for years. I got tired of waiting. Bought our own. I'm sharing it. Hello, Laura Maldonado. Ooh, this is so beautiful. I'm telling you, this is so beautiful. So let me scoot over here to this side. Oh, get this, honey. Okay. Pam Dudley, she says, guess what? My husband went and bought turquoise paint to paint our pergola outside. Oh, he's going to have a turquoise pergola. That sounds wonderful for all of your roses. She has a beautiful rose garden, Matthew. Hello, Derek Carlton. Weathered Hearts Design says, I'm so captivated by your dresses and skirts. Thank you, Emily. Appreciate you. It's been a lot of fun. And I think DIY with the clay, I think it's just been um, made it really easy, I should say. And because of the way the paint goes on the fabric, it's been very inspiring for me. Yes, Rob. Yes. Rob's coming. Rob's on fire tonight. Rob. Are you mad at me, Rob? No. Rob's just stating some facts and throwing some knowledge down. Uh, he says it's a new old school business trip. No. Rob, <laughs> it's going to have the turquoise iris on the fifth wheel on the side. Like. I'm kind of thinking we're going to go a different direction with this truck. Matthew Woods. I'm thinking... You can think all you want. I am. Well, I'm the, I'm the one kind of doing the work on it. No, no, no. I'm thinking. My uncle's doing the work on it. Thank we, you. We, he's blood. We, he's my blood. We. And your, your uncle and I. I'm thinking we should go with like, like a cherry red. The truck is already cherry red or red. Cherry red, like yeah, like bright cherry. Yeah. No, that's the one color I like don't. Co like color of your hat. No. What do you mean? Yes. That's the one color I don't want. <laughs> Shelly says you you used this full name. Are you in trouble? Robert Matthew Woods. I'm thinking. Well, cherry red with white racing stripes. Slicks on the back. Yeah, if we had a Corvette. 350 engine put in. Four that doesn't even sound like you. You're just that. There, that doesn't even look like a truck that you would drive. How do you know? Because. Because you wouldn't let me drive it. Because I would be driving it every day. <laughs> That's more my truck kind of truck than you. You're more old school neutral. Candace's would fly out of the back of the truck, honey. Rob's making some good points. Rob. I'm done, buddy. <laughs> Candy Apple Red, says Rob. This is fabulous. Oh, my. Um, what are you spraying on the... Water. Address? Just water, right? Yeah. So we have, we have... What we have is a lot of water. We have some paint. Well, let me back up. We have a wedding dress, some paint, and a lot of water. And it's not just paint, and honey. Buckets to catch all of the it's water. It's not just paint, honey. You want to show them the buckets that we have to catch the, catch the there's paint? There's no buckets down here. This is not just paint. You can't just call this paint. Oh, good call, patience. It's magic. Yeah, I'm going to change my color. We're going purple. Patience. A little bit. You and Rob are in timeout. Why are you encouraging him to argue with me? I wanted this truck my whole life. You know what? He calls me from the place. He's like, there's a truck here you think you're going to want. Me. Not, he didn't say, I found a truck I want. Because he knows how much I want this truck. Woodsy? Mm hmm mm hmm I'm going to go with a color combination on the truck. Purple. You are not going to put purple on our truck. Purple. You know that. Yellow and black. What? Ooh, what are we in? 
NFL football team? Or I'm going to go. M MLB. Oh, what is that? That looks like I'm bleeding. Look at that. I'm, I'm going with old school. That's not old school. Well, I'm going. I think you're just being on re. Okay, I've grabbed some petticoat pink, and I'm going to work another layer of. Nope. 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 Here, muscles. You're going to need to bang it. That, that whole tapping, tapping. Ooh, the cheeks are turning red. Do one with JRV. No, Linda, it has a top coat in it. Um, and I don't want the top coat with the dress. So what I'm loving about the, um, Crystal, you also go to the other corner. You hear me? At one Patience, Rob, Crystal, all, four, all three corners. Um, no, I don't want to do um, Jamie's colors only because that particular paint has a top coat in it. And I'm finding that um, the original formula DIY is what's working best for my colors. Or we can get a new jar of pink, honey. We can get a new jar of pink. For, okay. No. All right. Thank you, Pam. So she calls the right corner, the right pocket. So um, my plan is because it's fall inspired. It's very ivory. It's the most ivory dress I've done so far. It has a beautiful haltered. It's kind of strapless. And then it has a sheer netting over the top that goes around the neck. And then there are rhinestones on the top of it. And it's fitted here. And then it a line. It does not have a train. Um, but then I'm going to also add ivory flowers and some light pink flowers to the dress. Hi, Laura. Thank you. So um, while the deep color is setting into the fabric, I am going to include a little bit of um, petticoat pink, which is a baby soft pink color. Um, but the original formula definitely works best with keeping the dress soft. This is satin. And I'm just going to pour it out onto my palette. The fabric is very wet, so wet that it's dripping. I'm going to work a little bit of petticoat into this. And my water bottle. All right, so I'm going to start back on the side where I started earlier. Patience says, someday she will paint a piece of furniture purple. And it will be the best piece she has ever painted. You know what? You're probably right. Hello, Betty. You're probably right. So I, I, one of these days I'll look up and say, what was I thinking to just use this, never use this color before? It's not that I don't like the color. I like purple. I, I think, I mean, I, we have it kind of on some of our pieces of furniture. You do use it quite a bit. Yeah. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't set out to use it for some reason, and I, I don't even have an answer as to why. I wish you would use more uh, black velvet. Wow, I mean, wow. Uh, essential expression says, put one of your hats under the dress, Jippy Delights. Ooh, good idea. Patience is laughing at me, I think. She's laughing at her. She's in the corner. She's in trouble. I want to be honest with you. Every time I take a patient Smith, I think of the elevator. Well, you guys had a moment. We had a moment in the elevator. Yeah, you guys had your moments. That was really funny. <laughs> well, I think about the craft box that she sent me because it was one of the most generous gifts anybody's ever sent me. Now we have Derek's anniversary gift he gave us, which is another one of those extremely kind gifts. All right. Well, Laura Barnes, Laura Barnes just did an entire bed set in black velvet for a client. Well, awesome. Nice. Laura's going to be featured, honey, in the next issue of the journal. Laura Barnes? Yep. She is, she wrote a poem. So we've had her in there. This will be her third time because we love her poetry. Oh, yeah. yes, I have her book over there too. Yes, you do. Look at this. 
Ah, I feel like that is worth singing about. Oh, yes, girl. What are you going to sing? I don't know. Switch sides. It's Friday, and you know what, guys? I'm tired. I almost didn't come on tonight because this has been a busy week. We have accomplished a lot. Um, and we have a busy day tomorrow. We have a photo shoot in the morning because Winston's driving now, so we can drive him down the road. Um, so before it gets too hot, we have a photo shoot and another photo, some more photos. And I'm hoping we get to go on a date. We go on a date? Kids are coming over tomorrow night. They are? Oh, we're having a family date tomorrow. I didn't know that. Are you cooking? I don't know yet. And I mean, if the boys want me to, I will. That's just how I roll, you know? I know. Shannon Olson is uh, loving this. Thank you. Shannon is also going to be in the journal coming out in the fall. We announced all the contributors today, Matt. I know you're not on social media, so you didn't know that. Nope. But Shannon and her artwork are going to be featured. We had about nine ladies from the Creative Connection. Nine ladies. Nine. I wish some of the guys would do submissions. We did not have one submission from a gentleman this time. What? Not one guy did not a submission. One? Nope. Rob didn't throw some throw his hat in the ring. Nope. Rob, what's the deal? Derek, I know Derek's going to. We talked. Did you talk? Yeah. In the, in the, no, 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 no. We don't in talk the in that thing. We talked. You know. What do they, what do you call those DMs? Yeah, you talk through the DMs. Yeah, through that DM thing. Uh -huh. Sure you did. Yeah, and he's going to, he's going to start. He's getting ready to come out of a shell, honey. You, need, you just watch out. I'm ready. You be careful. Oh, can you guys see how beautiful this is? I don't know if you can. I feel like you can hear the angels singing, possibly. If you're just popping on, I'm using DIY and I'm applying it with the caddy brush. Hello, Hi. Laura McCarroll. Doing so a... Finally made it. Hello. Laura, hello, darling. Uh, Fall-inspired dress. So the top part is a halter with little rhinestones, and then there's one beading underneath the empire waist. It's really fitted, and then it flares. What's an empire waist? It just kind of comes up, like, up here. It's real fitted, and it has that seam right underneath your chest. And then drops into an A line. Doesn't have a train. And Julia tried it on the other day and it fit like a glove. So it's going to be really beautiful on her. So now I'm going to flip it and work on the back so this can dry overnight and I'll be ready to work on it tomorrow. Yes, Marie, that is chalk paint, or not chalk no. paint, DIY paint, excuse me. It's clay. Clay, DIY clay paint and water. It's what I use also on my furniture. There is some chalk in it, but it is not exclusive chalk. Um, I just want to make sure. I think what makes it so extremely soft is the clay. And I don't know about other chalk paints. Uh, there's not a sealer in this. It doesn't have a, any, um, any sealants. Uh, Shelly Ross would like to know, Dion, is this getting flowers and gold too? It's getting gold next. And I'll show you the flowers it's getting. Show it against the purple. Show it against the purple. Can you show it against the purple? Okay, chill. <laughs> so we will have some here. And it's going to be more fall inspired. I have to design that layout a little bit. Hello. All right, so we've flipped it around. Now we have the back. So I'm going to let that dry. So this, you call this an A train? No, it's an A line. A line. Do they have, they have a B line? Are you smart, Alec? No, I'm curious because I don't know much about women's dresses. 
They do not have a B line, Matt. They okay. just have an A line because it's shaped like an A. Okay. You have straight silhouettes, A line, sheath, things like that. Okay. So they didn't go past A. No, they stopped at the A in okay. the alphabet. Fair enough. No B trains, C trains, D trains. No. Okay. But I love a good A line. Are you on YouTube? Yeah. Are you really? Yep. Are you ignoring all those oh people? Oh my gosh. Poor Lisa Dixon. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad now. Hold on. Did you just knock everything over? Nope. I wouldn't do that. Well, you're going to clean that up. Uh, probably not. Chimney. Oh my goodness. I feel horrible now. Well, you came in right at 830. Thank you, Betty. It's all right, though. It's not that big. Betty was like, hey, Matt, why don't you quit being rude and say hello to the people on the YouTube? I oh. Like, I was like, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> all right, so going back to the cherry pick, going back to the first layer. I'm getting there, YouTube. I'm getting there. Sorry. He did not know that I was going to be able to I do didn't. yard I time. really didn't. We didn't talk about it. Like I said, I just decided a few minutes before I went on that I was going to come on um, because I was working on the journals. Um, quite a few of them had sold, and I was kind of getting them organized. And after I was on Bloom TV today, and Matthew, did you know that the guest on Bloom TV today on the talk show made ice buckets, and she freezes flowers in her ice buckets, and she showed me how to make one. And guess who's going to make one this week? It's me. I'm going to make one this week, an ice bucket with flowers. There's my friends. You didn't even There's know. Lisa Dixon, and Roshonda not, Light, not my Sherry Zimmerman. Oh. oh, I feel horrible. So sad. So bad. Well, I'm glad you got that all sorted out, sweetheart. No brownies for me tonight. Dude, that used to be my reward for doing a live show. It was. That's was so funny. I was like, I have nothing left in me. I did it live for 20 minutes and I'm done for the day. Give me a brownie and let me sit on the couch and do nothing. Boy, it used to take everything, every ounce of my bones to do a live video. Lisa, will you will you ever forgive me? Aww. I feel horrible. I bet she has a hug for me to give you in September when I see her. Uh, Roshana says she used to do floral or frozen floral ice buckets back in the day. Yep. Well, the lady I had on today, Christy, she, that's what she does. Christy Belk, she's on Instagram as she follows flowers. And her ice buckets with flowers were so beautiful. She does many, many other things. She's actually a master gardener. She uh, works in the healthcare department. She also um, is extremely talented. Dion, Lisa has a question for you. Yes, Gary. She would like to know if she gets to see me in September. Why are you asking me? She, that's, it was a question for you. Ask Matt. Well, you don't want to give them, you don't want to tell My them? water bottle's empty, sugar. I guess I'll tell the real story. The real story, Lisa, is that Dion doesn't want me to go to any more events. Wow. I can get pretty distracting and Wow. I distract her and I mean me signing autographs and taking pictures and it's just a little too distracting, so I'm just I'm barred from going. Really? Surely nobody believes that. It's really tough, actually, to do that during school with the boys, with Holden and the dog, and leaving Abby here because she's usually with me all day long. Um, she's not she's not left alone too often. She is totally spoiled for more than a couple hours at a time, <laughs> <laughs> and it is very hard to leave her. 
Um, she's she's getting up school. there in age, yeah. So, so until she, as long as she's with us, we've kind of committed to making sure we one of us sticks around quite a bit. We've committed to the dog. Oh, she's our princess girl. That's oh, for sure. She's a princess. She's and uh, so as frustrating as it can be sometimes, it really is frustrating sometimes. But uh, Sheree Phelps uh, has a question. So what are you going to do after painting? I just got on. Sorry. Well, this is my fifth or sixth wedding dress. And I kind of have a plan and then it seems to always change. So I will tell you that I kind of have a plan. This is my fall inspired wedding dress. The others have been really bright. And um, I did the black one, the black evening gown. And I loved it so much, but now I kind of want to do a fall inspired wedding gown. So I showed the flowers earlier. I may or may not paint some flowers on it like I've done also. I might do a combination of flowers and at painting it and adding some on there. I'm just not real sure. I'm just going to do step one and decide my next move. But I did pretty well decide that I'm going to auction the dresses off and give the proceeds to probably a children's cancer. Uh, Marie says, can this be done on cotton? Yep, I have done multiple cotton dresses. Um, I've been doing this for about 10 months now and I have done several cotton dresses, summer cotton dresses. Um, but I like the satin wedding dresses the best. I don't know what it is. I just truly like this fabric the best. <clears throat> uh, Lisa Dixon says, I get it. We are taking our dog to South Carolina with us. <laughs> yeah. Betty also, yeah. You're driving. I know a lot of you completely understand that. Um, having to take care of your dogs. I knew y'all would understand. And we have a 17 year old senior still in the house. Yep. And Holden's, <laughs> Holden's not going to, you know, I mean, he's 17. He's a senior. And a couple years, we plan on having Matt with me all the time. <laughs> right? Yes. I'm always like, can you come? Can you come? Don't go to work. Stay here. Help me. So I'm quite clingy. So I promise you, I would go anywhere. I would have him come with me everywhere if that was possible. Say hello, hello, Matt Dillon. It's Erica from Texas. Just wondering when y'all might have a crinoline in stock. I have several pieces I need it for. Do I have crinoline? We have some. We do. We do have crinoline. I think so. It might not be on my website, but that, thank you for the reminder. I can activate it because um, we have plenty of it back in stock. That means that I just forgot to add it back to the website. My apologies. Uh, Donna Strobal. Hi, what kind of paint do you use? DIY paint. It's a clay based. It's what I use on my furniture, on my canvases sometimes. It's clay based. Um, it's been in production for over six years and I've used it for the last five. And um, it seems to work with just about every kind of project that I do. Mm -hmm. I'm just about done for tonight. But so what are we doing tomorrow? We're doing two photo shoots. I know. One, one with the journal. The journals. And one when in the pool. In the pool. You are wearing a swimsuit. I'm wearing my Speedo. No, no, you're yes. wearing your beach. I'm shorts wearing my speedo. And your unicorn floaty. My unicorn speedo. And I we're doing some <laughs> just because it's Friday night it doesn't mean uh, you have to act like such a dork. It just came out. My apologies. I actually didn't think about it. I said it before I thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. Be quiet. Yeah, I I'm shouldn't have on, said that. Someone said they're on an island in Florida. Who is that? That would be Shelly Ross. Oh, yes. She is. She is going to the ocean tomorrow, Matt. That is 
Shelly's headed to the beach. Well, just brag about it. Why don't you? Well, it's like eight miles from her house. Hello, Renee Smith. Hey, Renee. Christine McCain. McLean, excuse me. Hi, sis. She says the journals are beautiful. Thank you. Just loaded more to the website tonight. I think we've sold about half of them. But I'm going to take pictures with them tomorrow um, for the magazine for the fall issue. So I'm just kind of getting some footage for my editor so she can continue to build the magazine now. Uh, a Marie would like to know, do you use a specific brush? Yep, I use the Caddy brush. I do. This is from Paint Pixie. I sell it on my website. This is the one I use. Which we are currently out of at this time. Oh, no, they're coming Monday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's... they're coming Monday. Well, we're currently out of them now. But they're coming Monday. But we'll have some Monday. <laughs> she said she ordered the watercolor paint. Marie did. The watercolor paints. Maybe from that lady, the bean. Oh. I'm assuming. Did you order some of the bean? Because I did paint on with watercolors the other day. Yeah. That's great. Uh, uh, Betty says the journals are look awesome. Thank you, Betty. So our fall magazine with our contributors and all of their beautiful works will be out October 15th on newsstands. I wish one of these days in your mailbox and online digitally. We're going print and digital. Print and digital. Matt said so. He was the determining factor yep. that could do print. So. I did. I was the deciding factor in that room that day. Joan doesn't give me a whole lot of uh, decision-making authority, but she did that day. Well, because it, I, I, I didn't want to be responsible for spending that much money. And the truth is, I dominated it. I didn't think about it. I was just like, do it. That's not what you said. Pretty, I'm pretty sure that's how it happened. That's how I remember it. I remember standing up, pounding my fist on the table. Oh my gosh, you're like living in a movie. And I said, if we don't do it now, we oh will never gosh. do it. Something like that. It was quite. You cheap. watch too much movies. That's all I can say about that. Pounding your fist on the table. Lamo. Lisa is excited to get a print edition. Of Thank you, sweetheart. Lisa, I'm with you. Honestly, yeah. Dion is a. She was, for years and years and years, quite the magazine connoisseur. So our house was littered with magazines. Littered is a bad term, Woodsy. Full? No. Would, would, would full be better? Accentuated. I was going to say full. Our house was full of magazines, so I got to see a lot of magazines in my day. And this one... Have I have... have I this have... one, Dion's Journal, really... It, it's up there. It, I'm actually really impressed with everything about it. And it's got the only thing, if, if we could work on this for guys, you know, to guys, for guys to buy it, look at it. We need like pop ups, you know, like trees like, yeah, tree. You open the turn of the page and it's a big tree or something that pops up at them. More picture book stuff, right? Yeah. Maybe some like a place where we could color and draw and stuff. Well, we actually are going to add in some interactive pages, Matt, so I think you're going to like this. You're going to be able to, to write down your feelings and draw some pictures in the, in the journal. Um, the magazine is going to have some memento type pages for you. So, you know what? We've even thought of you. No worries, buddy. No worries. Good. Good. It's funny because I actually looked at this journal before she did. <laughs> she had made the mistake of leaving right before when the mail came. I went and got the mail and I looked at it before she did. I came around the corner with tears in my eyes because it wasn't in the mailbox like it was supposed to be. And he's sitting there with his feet kicked up. Uh, Donna would like to know, do you hold the dress open somehow until it dries? 
So we normally, we have a form that Matt built me. And cardboard. A, a cardboard form that sets down inside of it. But I did not use it on this one because the dress isn't very wide. Um, but I do normally have a form that hangs in between it. There's different ways I've done it. I'm kind of just doing, experimenting what works best. But because this dress really isn't as wide, that form is really wide, um, it's a little bit more awkward. So I chose not to use it this time. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Look at this mat. Mm -hmm. Don't you love it? Mm -hmm. So what other colors are you getting you fitting with it? I'm not telling. Okay. Wow, thanks. I told Lisa you. Dixon says Dion does everything halfway. I'm surprised she gets anything done. What? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. She Lisa. didn't she didn't say that. I, I kinda I kinda Lisa, I think, added that. I think he's trying to get you in trouble. I just lowered my chair a little bit. Um, okay, so if you're just popping on, the front of this dress has a halter, and these colors are cherry picked. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can cry. Come up here. So this is what the dress looks like. So it's the only ivory one I've done, but you can see like the better not touch it. The um, fabric here, it's, so it's more of a halter, excuse me, I meant to say strapless, and then the netting kind of pulls up, goes around the neck, has the stones here, um, and then it just drops down. So we are going to be attaching flowers. I might possibly paint some as well. I haven't got that far. I just knew that I wanted those colors. Um, fall inspired because it was time. Colleen just popped on. Hello, Betty Harvey. Hello, it's been a while. Love it. Hi. Delaney says, beautiful. Thank you. Right, Shannon? It is so much fun to be so, it, I'm just, I'm so excited. It's, um, if I didn't have self-discipline, I'd be in here all night working on it, but I do. Betty says, <laughs> I tough. love the fading of the color. Thank you, Betty. I love that it looks like watercolor, and that's really, of course, what I'm after. The blue one that we did, do you have the magazine right there, baby? Do you have the magazine? Want me to find it? The blue one? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to get paint on this. Well, are you going to hold it up? No. Yes, I will hold it up. I don't want paint on this. Well, come over here, then. I'm trying to find the blue so this is, I'm using this as the same type with different colors. Honey, if you'll just come this way. Don't tell me. Why are you going that way? It's crowded, guys. It's really crowded in here. <laughs> so you can see the way the blue fades down and there's multiple shades of blue. And so it's the same design. Now this dress is split here on the side um, and then I put the flowers around that so same type of concept just doing it with a totally different flower combination as you can see so this is the one that I have available now on my web or one of them on my website um, and that's our, our our beautiful little Madison there um, thank you can you flip the page and show them the others So you can kind of see when I started working on it, what it was looking like. And then of course her, the finished um, Madison wearing it near our pool there. So that is my inspiration. One of my own dresses. I loved how this turned out. Thank you, sweet. Any questions? Thank you for answering Karen Brown. To me, it's going to look amazing in that dress. Thank you. So the only kind of paint that I'm using on the fat, on my fabric, on all my dresses is DIY. It's clay based. I'm a retailer. 
So because I sell it, I use it on my furniture, my artwork. It's my favorite paint. And that's why I have it in abundance. And so if I'm painting nine times out of 10, this is what I'm using, unless I'm using acrylics on my canvas. Um, I'm using a, a different paint. I'm using acrylics on the journals. Um, it just kind of depends, but you can always bet that DIY is what I'm using because of the clay. There's no smell. I don't ever have to worry that this dress is going to have a smell to it. That would be really bad, don't you think? I would think so. That would be bad. All right, so I'll be back on Sunday at 8.30 Central Time, unless we have some kids here. If we've got some college kids here, when we will skip. I think they're coming tomorrow, which means they probably aren't coming on Sunday. Um, so I look forward to seeing you then. I hope you all have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. I've got a dress to do. Maybe I'll wear it. You know, we keep teasing each other that we're going to go renew our vows next summer for our 25th. Maybe, maybe there's a dress that I should do for myself specific, but I haven't found just the right one. So when I find the right one, I'll paint it for myself and that'll be really fun. You all have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Take care. See ya.